Welcome back to the Railroad Connection. In today's how-to, I will be showing you how to build homemade, inexpensive freight car loads. Please like and subscribe for more how-to content and enjoy. To begin, I started by tracing and cutting the foam that I would be using for the base. I like using foam because it's very lightweight, which will keep the cars from being top heavy and less prone to wobbling. After I get a good fit in the car, then I focus on rounding the top where the load would occupy. Now that the foam has been shaped and test fitted, it's time for paint. Try and pick a base color that will complement the color load you would be applying. This will save you material as you won't be fighting to hide the pink colored foam. The next step is to apply the first layer of glue. I use a 50-50 water glue mixture which makes spreading and brushing a whole lot easier. Be careful to try and keep the glue away from the sides as it will affect the fit in the car. Time to apply your preferred top layer. Work your way from the top to the bottom to achieve a realistic look. Add as much as desired. Here I'm applying a diluted surface coat of alcohol in preparation to the top layer of glue. Okay, the final layer of glue is being applied now. The 50-50 mix will take care of holding everything in place. After the glue, I sprinkle a bit more to cover some missed areas. There you have it, six easy steps to beautiful realistic car loads for any railroader looking to save. Thank you for watching the Railroad Connection.